What is going on guys, I'm your host Francis Bo. welcome back to Movie Stalkers, and today I am here to give you guys my non-spoiler review for Logan. I just came back from watching it a couple hours ago, and I'm here to give you guys my review on it, and this is a non-spoiler review, I will have a spoiler review out tomorrow, and uh, tonight I will have a non-spoiler review, so just came back from watching it, and holy cow, yeah, as you could tell, I love this movie, but before we geek out, let's talk about the positives, the negatives, and my overall score out of 10 for Logan. So let's first start off actually with the negatives about this movie, and then we'll get into the positives. So the, the only negative I can really say about Logan is a certain character, which I will not spoil, a certain character in the movie doesn't have a whole lot of screen time and the certain character doesn't really get a lot of uh, purpose until the very end of the movie and I felt like maybe he this character should have get, gotten a little bit more screen time and if it got a little bit more screen time it would have helped the movie and help you know connect a little bit with that character but everything else man um, okay let's first start off with the characters. The characters in this movie were incredible. And I don't really use that word a lot when it comes to talking about movies. But the character, my god, the characters. Such dynamic characters and such well-developed characters. Logan, uh, Professor X, and of course the little girl. All of them were spot on. All of them Great character development for each of them. Logan was fantastic. Hugh Jackman did a great last performance as Wolverine. Fantastic job from Hugh Jackman. In my opinion, probably his best performance yet. Just an amazing, amazing performance. And Patrick Stewart as Professor X. Hands down, in my opinion, he was probably the best actor acting in the film that I saw. He, there's a certain scene in the movie, which I will not spoil in the, here in the non-spoiler review, but there's a certain scene in the movie where you could see Patrick Stewart really investing himself into this character, Professor X, and he brings a whole lot of acting in that scene. But I will not spoil it. But Logan was great. Professor X was great. The little girl was awesome. She was awesome throughout the entire movie. Fantastic character really interesting background interesting motives she kicked so much butt in this movie as you saw in the trailers what you saw in the trailers was just a little bit of what like a little taste of what she actually does in this movie and she just kicks so much butt and the one thing that I absolutely love about this movie is the tone of this movie the tone of this movie is very dramatic and there's some comedic moments, there's some superhero moments, as you know, this is a superhero movie. But its focus is drama. And if there's one thing that the X-Men movies have been lacking in, is the emotional state, the emotional tone. We can I never have watched any of the X-Men movies and have gotten emotionally attached to any of the X-Men characters. Well, Logan has proved to me that... The X-Men movies can be emotional. Because Logan was super emotional. It was a very heartfelt movie. Because you're super invested in all the characters. You're super invested in the context of the film. And you're just feeling every single character in this movie. And I thought the story was, was laid out perfectly. It had a great beginning, middle, and end. And, oh, I just love this movie, guys. I absolutely love this movie. And that's really all I can say. I mean, I don't want to go any, more, any further because that would be going into spoiler territory. But the only other positive that I can say is that the villain also was really cool. I really liked the villain also. He was just a really cool villain to follow. He had some pretty cool motives. He was a pretty good opposing villain for Logan and the other uh, good guys. But, oh my god, this was this movie was amazing. Absolutely loved this movie. Hands down, my favorite movie of the year so far. It is just amazing. 
for me, guys, I am giving Logan a 9.5 out of 10. Fantastic movie. No, actually, a 9.6. I will give it a 9.6 out of 10. It is an amazing movie. I really want to give it a 10 out of 10, but it's just that that one character didn't get a lot of screen time, and therefore I'm going to give it a 9.6 out of 10. So 96%. Go check out this movie when you guys get a chance to. It is fantastic. I will have a spoiler review up tomorrow. And that is it for my review for Logan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. How you guys felt about Logan. Well, tell me what your favorite part is, your favorite character. And what do you think this movie means for the future X-Men movies and for Hugh Jackman as well. And that is it for my non-spoiler review for Logan. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Again, my spoilers review for Logan will be out tomorrow. And that is it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. As always, as we end these videos, bow out. See you next time. Peace.